May I bite my thoughts for the words that have just passed inside my mind. Should I get cancer, I'm in trouble because I'm already smoking weed. So this would go completely against the grain. I've got a beautiful candle. Oh my God. The candle, the lights went out. Blackout. Uh-oh. What's that a sign? Twelve days from now, what's going to happen? Just had a blackout. My sister-in-law asked me, she says, do you get enhanced when you do your art because of the weed you smoke? And I wasn't really sure what to answer her, but today I went down to start painting. And the first thing that came to my mind was her. But it wasn't the weed that got me to paint. The weed got me to relax enough that I wasn't thinking about anything really at all except for the job at hand. Just the job I wanted to do at hand, so when I smoked, it was like I was more concentrated on this than thinking about going on the computer or anything else. Um, so, I know that the pot just gives you the, the freedom inside your mind. What I want to talk about right now are the word alpha, the way I spell it, and omega. The word alpha, A-L-P-H-A, -A, putting the P and H together, sounding off for three, three vowels at the same time. The C-A-C-H-E is all inside the sound of the H, of the creation of the H. So, the F sound of fa, F and A, would be exactly what P would be, as one and six. Anyways, alpha has a total count in gematria of 37. Pretty weird, eh? Three by seven is 21. On the 21, we start the new months. 21 is adding one all the way through six when we end up with 21, and that's the letter U. U is A and B. Remember, U is A and B. 3 plus 7 is 10. 6 and 4 create 10. That's of who we are. 7 and 3 create 10. 2 and 8, 1 and 9. 3 by 7 is 21. Plus 10 is 31. 31, 13. Unlucky, lucky. They both create 31 and 13. Fours. 31, 13. 44. 37 total. 3 plus 7 is 10. Is a totality of 1, but the total count added and multiplied is 4. And the total added count of the 31 is 44. So it's 4, 4, and 4. So it's like Alpha's got the four corners of the four corners of the four corners of the 30, of the 30, of the 30, of the 30, of the... Uh, I think that's the number, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, alpha counts for 37. The center of the roulette wheel, 37. The letters they use for 37, Q and T equal 37. That's the center of the roulette is 37. Um, so now omega, okay, hold on a second. Now alpha, A-L-P-H-A, is 13781. 137, I mean, is the spirit of the creation of the gate of the heavens of the one spirit. The last two finish in 81, meaning in the eight world, this world we're in right now. It's the seventh gate of the ninth of who we are is the ninth. Nine three comes into what's created. Number nine is created. Human being. We finish with 81. Nine by nine is 81. 78 is October, or 87. 73, 37 is 110, the Twin Towers. And it starts with 13, because Alpha creation, 1 and 3. 1 and 3, if you put it together, 1 and 3 creates the B. Omega starts with 6 and 4, 6, 4, 5, 7. That's who we are. 6 times 4 is 24, 6 and 4 is 10. Six and four is everything that, like if you want to know if the teacher comes up to you and goes, X and Y equals Z. You say to the teacher, X equals six and four, six plus four, six times four equals X and Roman numerals and regular gematria of the Canadian or North American dictionaries for the letter. The total of omega is 42. 
Omega says the end angel, the Omega A. Om, man, go. Man, go, in French means man, man. 42 is the numerical count for the word of 9 and 5, and 9 and 5 in craps, at the same odds. All over the world, forever and ever. Things I talk about are fixated. So when you add up Alpha and Omega just for the letter count, you get a total of 42 and 37 equals 89. Now this is what makes it perfect. Okay, I'm going to show you what makes it perfect. It equals 89. 8 minus 1 equals 7 in the 7 world. On the dice cubes, all opposites are 7. 9 minus 2 equals 7. 12, 21, right here. Now let's look at it the other way. 8, 8, 8 minus 1, 8 plus 2 equals 10. 9 minus 2, 9 plus 1 equals 10. 7 and 10, 17, 17. Maybe we should stand on the 17th letter because we have the Q of it all. 1 and 2, 21. 1 and 2, 21. 1, 2, 2, 1. This is what happened in 2012. 10, 7. This would say July 10th or October 7th. If, it, if you were just looking at the basics of whatever it is. October is the only month with a zero in it. So we end up with 89. Now if you want to know how to get 89, 9 is created from a 6 and a 3 or a 5 and a 4. There's no other way to get 89 other than this. 1, 2, and then reverse it. 3, 4. Now if you want a further meaning for 6 and 3 and 5 and 4, find out how many moons in that number of years with and without the leap days. And uh, you're going to get an answer to a relationship or something else in this world. Well, of course you will. Well, of course you will. What does the crowd think? The imaginary crowd. Or a cloud. No one's there anyways. Anyways, um, so yeah, now we get 89. So 6 and 3, or 6 by 3. Like, we want to know, what is this 8 and what is this 9? If one, we go to the bathroom, it's the P, and two is the brown, and one is the yellow. Well, brown is what that takes it to the area where we get to yellow. How do we get to yellow? Anyways, forget about that. One and two, alpha, beta, A and B. In all the languages, it's almost the same. So when we use this, we have to go to six and three because we are in the square game. It's an octagon with corners on it. Yeah clipped off corners from the from a from a star. So six and three and five and four. And everybody knows nine times five is forty five, but nine times six is fifty four. So now you have to understand the relationship with those numbers. When you learn when you learn your relationships with the numbers of each other, and then how upon you come to these numbers in your situation will explain to you uh, more often or not, oh, look, this is now like this, and this, that is like this. Do you understand what I'm saying? Is that you'll, oh, we're always saying, oh, number one is a pee pee, and number two is a poo poo. So, so now you know. So the other thing is, look at eight. Look what eight does. Eight is 6226, 5335, 4, 4. Can we reverse the four? Of course you could. 4A and 4B. So you reverse it. One, two, three. One. If it's different combinations, there's one, two, three, four, five. Five and eight. Five by eight is 40 to game. Five plus eight is 13. 13 and 40 is 53. Five is the passage. Three is the creation passage. Five times three is the creation passage because it makes the, it's the egg. Five by three is 15. The egg, the 15 ball. One and five is six. 5 plus 3 is 8, to make this 8 again. 8 and 15 is 23. 23 is creation. It's all about number 23. 23, 2 times 3, 2 plus 3. See number 23? We get number 23 out of the creation of um, the numbers we were just doing. Which numbers we were just doing? Um, guess what? Ah. Oh, I was doing... Um, 
50, what was I doing again? 50, I did 5 and 3, 53, how did I get to 53? Anyways, whatever it is, 23 equals 11 and 11 equals 3 creation. It brings itself back to, to where, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this a different way, where it brings back, you see number 6 and 3? 6 times 3 is 18, letter R, angel resident, the 18th letter. The 18th letter stands for A and H, angel of the H heaven, of the heavens above. But really, you know, if you cut an H in half, turns into another letter. So the H can be many, many, many things, but standing that way, it's, imagine this is the H, you and me. We're holding, we're tied at the waist. My arms are going up, your legs are spread like this, your legs are going down like this. We look like the H together, but if we look at us, we see two different people. One is up there, one is down here. It's the same thing. We turn the camera upside down. Now they look in different positions. They look like they're in the same position, but they're a different person right now. You understand what I'm saying? It's all an illusion. Anyways, I just heard again, Lucas, Lucas. What is it about Lucas? L-U-C is luck, the luck of the ace. Lucas, luck, ace, the luck of the ace. What is the luck of the ace? Always in the right position at the right time. What is the luck of the ass? What's up the ass of the ace? So it's also Chevrolet. So Chevrolet is cheese, so something's curdling or under the burner, and it's a goat, which is go at, to where at they are going. Who has the goat right now? Where is it? Chevre is goat let, an outlet where the goat is. Where are the goat? Where are the sheep right now? Um, another thing I wanted to show you is only diamonds. Square, square, square. All I did is stick one stick out here, two sticks, and ends up creating the heart, or the stairs, or the birds. Here's the Alpha Omega I was talking about. It totals 89. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 and 8 is 17. 17 and 72. How we got to 72. Do you understand how we got to 72, 72? We got the nine birth. It's not me, it's the numbers. I probably just don't explain it right. But I'm going to try and keep you as interested as you, as, 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 uh, as however. Anyways, um, there's Mickey Mouse, okay, M-I-C, that's my microphone, the mic, K-E-Y, that's the key. M-O-U-S-E. Well, can't you see? To love the moose. Why do we have to love the moose? It's not a mouse. It's a Mookie Mouse. It's a Mickey Mouse. It's the mic. It's how you listen, how you hear, and how you speak. Mickey Mouse. It's the mic. The squeak. Whatever comes out of your mouth is a squeak. It's a different tone to somebody else, so therefore it's a squeak of a tone that they understand. You squeak. Your energy vibrates through the air. Through the air, you transfer your signal. And if somebody hears it, a shape of a word goes into their ear. And it comes out of your thoughts and you hear it, you think it, you respond to it. Oh, my friends. Nibiru. Nibiru. Nibs. Pieces. Parts. Ruins. Ruins. Old times. Nibiru. A ship. Maybe it was a creative name only to tell you there's something when Nibiru comes, it'll be dangerous on Earth. Not that Nibiru comes to create danger, but we are going to create danger within the time that Nibiru is around. That can be possible. And then again, for me, Nibiru, the Reuben sandwich, a triple-decker sandwich. Because when this planet, when this element comes into our vision closer, it will, it will ignite not just Nibiru, but what the people and other countries are going to do around the world outside of North America, outside of NASA. There would be NASA, there would be Nibiru, and whoever else has their nose in this, because NASA is not alone. Russia does not tell NASA everything, and NASA does not tell Russia everything. So, 
I guess we're three parties, the minimum of one. Um, what else is there? Um, the zero and the letter I. O and I. Did we do the things with SOI, Soissant? Oh, I can't believe I got shut down on two videos. But there's so many words that tell you. I mean, this is a created world. We see through these eyes. We feel and it hurts. We, we go through things. You know what I do? I punish myself every week. I went shopping today, and the only thing I bought that I really liked at the edge of my tongue was juice. I always buy the best of juices and when it comes to fruits and vegetables and stuff. But otherwise than that, I don't touch meats. I try to stay away from chicken. I try to stay away from pork. I try to stay away. And even now that they're coming out with fresh fish, I'll start buying a little bit more fish. And I try and stay away with that. You know, with the cow... The cow is really not, it's eating the oats, you know what I'm saying, O-A-T, go eat, go eat oats, you know. So I, I figured, you know what, um, they don't utter a word, and I just think that's, uh, you know, something, but maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong. Do you know why? Because if I feel my mind is more free because I don't eat this, then it's how I feel in my mind that's going to make me feel better. And I'm going to believe in my thoughts. And I do believe in that thought, but at the same time, I'm punishing myself because I'd love to have a luscious, oh, juicy steak and just eat it up. But you know what? For years, for, lots, for I don't know, 20, 30 years, I, I, it, food makes me sad. After I have a good meal, I feel very sad because I know there's people around the world that, that don't get to have this. And it might be from a first life, something to do with water and food. Raphael, 70 to 86, no, when I get stoned, it does not en uh, enhance my ability to design, it just rids myself of the, of the ability to have a free mind and not worry about, oh my God, what's going on, what's doing this, I put something in my mind, a music or a sound, where I can move to the vibration and continue painting in that vibration, and I guess I'm just maybe addicted to being stoned, that I want to be stoned. But I like it too because I like the bus. Raphael, 7286. This is the uh, 101st Dalmatian of the year. This is day 101. In the fourth month, that makes 105. That's the day of the game. Wow, it's game day today. What that means is we have the addition of all the pieces in the game, 101 plus 4 equals the value to all of them and what we're missing is just a place to play which would be number 15 that would give us a total of 125 15 and 5 125 5 by 5 by 5 125 and that day actually really comes up on May 5th next month but it's the 14th Actually, the 23rd of this month, I don't know what it is, but that number keeps flashing in my head. But the 14th is ACDC Day. And I heard that the Black Sabbath is coming back to play in one of their songs. It's perfect in one of the videos I've done a year ago. Oh, there's so many. Of course everything's going to fit. I'm going to make everything fit. I make everything fit. There's a place for everything. You know, the words are like art. If you take a paintbrush, you, you paint in the color. It's the same thing. My expression can be painted in uh, to the arrival of the future. Raphael, 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. Thank you for watching. 18 minutes and 61 seconds.